I am in one of the most beautiful places in America. Unfortunately, 45 years ago, not so much. This was the site of the deadliest volcanic eruption in U.S. history. I am at the base of Mount St. Helens. We're going to hike this. We're going to get a good view. There's going to be snow. Look at this. National Weather Service, which is part of NOAA. Look at all that weather. All that cold, cold weather that we're going to be facing. On May 18th, 1980, there was a massive landslide on the north face of the volcano, the largest in U.S. history. It took 57 people's lives that day. This volcano was super weird. You know, volcanoes usually blast up while well, this one was lateral <laughs> ripping across 230 square miles just completely taking down forests choking rivers ash shot up 15 miles in the air across 11 states here we go snow my favorite form of precipitation not the right shoes okay trekking uphill through the snow and keep getting like teased that we're at the end that day, 57 people lost their lives, including volcanologist David Johnson, who radioed in right before the explosion. Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it. He saved thousands of lives that day by mandating that everybody evacuate despite opposition. I have made it as high as legally possible. After trekking miles uphill through the snow, finally made it to Mount St. Helens. Right over here is Chocolate Falls. And that's Mount Hood out there. It's Mount St. Helens right here. Is it worth it? Mount St. Helens still steams today, reminding us that this, this mountain is in fact alive. Man, the earth will do what it does. Just gotta get out of the way.